Hello and welcome to a very special edition video about Star Wars Unlimited because we got a very special gift. Those are 16 boosters for Star Wars Unlimited Sparks of Rebellion weekly play. They have three promo cards inside of it. And uh, yeah, it's a very special opportunity because typically you will only be able to win those when you play on um, turn in tournaments in your local LGS. So this is going to be also an informative informative video for yourself why is it worth to go to your local lgs and play the game or even trade or anything because you, whenever you join um an lgs you get a weekly play tracker as you can see this is like a small booklet uh you put your name over here and your notes i don't know what, what, what would you put here like darth vader is an ass or something but then you have this tracker over here so the event org event organizer is checking those boxes with a stamp or something, and you get that for either playing the game of Star Wars Unlimited or trading cards with someone else who plays Star Wars Unlimited or teaching someone how to play Star Wars Unlimited. And every week you get a stamp over here, you get one of those booster packs. And those booster packs, if I'm not mistaken, have 20 different cards, promo cards with um, with special like um, treatments um, that you can get. But also some of them can be foil and non-foil. So yeah, let's, let's just jump in. And uh, it's very exciting. So let's see what we're going to be able to win in your local LGSs. Oh, those... Okay, so first difference, those booster packs are plastic, not paper like the normal star wars unlimited so let's see all right first booster pack for the weekly play three cards i don't know what's the distribution over here so we're just gonna start like from the top so okay so this is a common so we have a green squadron a wing over here um it's a full art but it has like the red frame around it and i'll be honest with you this card i know i look at the at the camera right now and i can guarantee you the red is less intense when you look at the card in real life it's not as like intense when you look at it you know so i know this is not looking great on the on the camera but in real life it's actually pretty decent waylay uh okay it's actually looking pretty nice like, the artwork is nicely composed into it. And then we have, I guess, a rare. Okay, so we get General Veers, full art rare. Very, like, dude. Also, look at how I think the boxes, the tech boxes, are differently shaped. Typically, they are more square, right? You have the uh, symbol as well of the promos on the bottom. Okay, first pack done. Uh, so we have res, we have commons over here. Let's take another one. Okay, it's not as easy to open those as the paper packs. That is what I can tell you. I'm struggling here. I can. You can only imagine how am I dealing with other stuff that requires opening, like a bra or something, you know? I meant a bra, you know, like a brother. Okay. Anyway, um, let's go back to Admiral Moti. This is the common. Very nice uh, artwork. Then we have I am your father in full art. And Yoda in full art. Okay. I think I actually like this artwork much more than the normal one. There's more character in this one, and it's like a, the Yoda is also bigger on this one. All right, so we have rares, we have comments. We're going to put comments over here and rares over here. We'll see what those 16 packs are bringing us overall. Okay, struggling again. I think I found a way. Grand Moff Tarkin. Very nice. And you can see... A laser technician in the background. Leia Organa. Dude, this card is looking sick, though. Great colors. Like, very comic book-like. This looks like a cover of a comic book. You know? Great colors. Great composition. This looks great. And then... Oh, we got a foil! So this is a... F oh, okay. So it's a different foil treatment. So this is um, 
reminds me a little bit of search foils from Magic the Gathering, but they are selective as well. They are not covering the entire card. You can see that Bosk himself is not being covered in the reflective foil. Only his eye is. Look at the eye. See? It's a little bit Pringled. Pringles. It's actually less Pringled in real life than you see it on camera. A very nice foil. And also, look, it has the frame, like the... the the brownish frame around it, but it doesn't look like it's obscuring anything. Very nice. This is actually very nice. Okay. And it's a very playable card as well, no? All right. Ah, Jesus. Okay. Next one. Oh, this is a foil as well. I can already see. You can guess why. <laughs> All right, Battlefield Marine. Okay, the green is a little bit obscuring over here. Like, uh, not gonna lie. It, even in real life, this is looking a little bit awkward. Okay. Uh, whoa! Okay, this one is nice. C-3PO. Now, this one is beautiful. Beautiful artwork. And it, the composition... I, I'm a big fan of a compositions like this. When the background is, like, symmetric... Right? And it complements the pose of the of the main character here. Okay, and let's see what is the foil. Resupply. Very playable card. Let's see how it's how it's being foiled. Okay, so the characters. Wait, what? So the legs of the characters are foiled. And not exactly. Like half of the leg is foiled, and the characters themselves are not. Okay. Looks looks nice. Really looks nice. Alright, so two foils. Two foils, two normal uh, non-foil rares. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, this one doesn't have a foil. R2D2! Nice. Very nice. Another amazing artwork. Now, I swear, hyperspace version of the Star Wars Unlimited cards are amazingly looking, like, good looking. Okay, we have Lux Lightsaber. This is an alternative artwork as well to the normal, normal one that you can find in the expansion. Very nice. Very nice. And Bosk. Okay, we can compare a normal Bosk and a foil Bosk. A big difference. I mean, you can enjoy this one or this one. Like, depending, depending on what you, the, uh, it depends what you enjoy more. Like, you can see the background more clearly when it's a non-foil, right? Or it's just more about exposing the character when it's a foil. Okay. So, three rares, two foils. Where can I buy those packs? You can't buy those packs because those are... Star Wars Unlimited Sparks of Rebellion weekly play booster uh, um, boosters with free cards in it, and you get those once per week if you attend your LGS tournaments or uh, like festivities and so on. So just uh, ask your local gaming store if you if they have access to those boosters and if they they do it, then you're gonna get a booklet like this with um, with the with the stamps. Okay, we already got this one as well. Okay, so it's the same, exactly the same. And Sabine Wren, incredibly playable card. Oh, that one in foil has to be looking awesome. And again, the red is not as, as obscuring in real life as it is on camera over here. It's very weird. I don't know how to explain this. Like, when I look at this card in real life, I'm like, yeah, that looks nice. But then when I look at the camera... And the perception of the red frame is much worse. I don't understand how this is possible, but it's exactly that. Like, there's some difference in coloring and, like, the perception of it, how you look at it. This looks much better in real life. It's so weird for me. All right, but it's a very playable rare in an um, alternative version. All right. There's something, like, um, weird happening with the red color on camera, I would say. Like, it's... it's um. 
in real life, it's more transparent, I would say. Okay. Again, if we're gonna have waylay over here, then we're gonna assume that is that's how they're being cut. Yeah, see? Okay, so when you get a green squad on A-Wing, you get a waylay. And exactly the same booster. Exactly the same. But again, this is also can happen even if it's fully random. Even if it's fully random, remember, those, there's only 20 cards, right? There's only 20 cards um, in this pool of those booster packs. You can get one booster pack per week when you attend um, your local ga local gaming store. Okay, we have a foil over here. Let's see. Ooh. Vader's lightsaber. Very nice. Love it. Okay. I am your father. And... Whoa! Oh, God, this is cool. Oh, this looks amazing in real life. Death Star Stormtrooper. This one looks splendid. Lovely. Really nice. Really lovely. Holy crap. And uh, the, the foiling on the red frame of the text boxes looks amazing as well in real life. Even better than on camera. Very nice. And the character is not foiled apart from his legs. Oh, this looks amazing. Okay. Okay. We get next one. No foil over here. We have Luke's lightsaber, R2-D2, and Yoda. We already had Yoda. Okay. Here we go. Leia Organa, C-3PO, and General Veers. We already had this one as well. I will definitely not get like the entire set from those boosters. So it makes sense if you're looking for like specific cards to trade with your local uh with your local community, you know, in your gaming store. Oh, there's a foil over here. Battle for Marine, C3PO, and General Veers. Alright, let's compare. So foil version and non-foil version. Again, uh the character is not foiled apart from the lower part over here in this spot and it's uh, unfortunately this card is not as impressively looking in real life because it's very dark the artwork is very dark so the foil is not as striking as it is uh, on the other cards but it's looking very nice on the text box so that's something okay we have four boosters left and i'll open i guess one normal booster at the end just to finish the video. All right. This one has no foil. So we have R2D2. Looks lightsaber. And Greedo. Okay. I wonder if you can get a foil of him. Greedo is very playable card. And I actually like this artwork much more than the normal one. That is very nice. Very nice. Okay, three to go. I also love the the flavor on this card. Like when he is defeated, you can discard a card from your deck if it's not a unit you deal two, da two damage to a ground unit. Like okay, so I died. I tried to shoot you, just like in the movie, but he failed. He discarded a non-unit. <laughs> All right. Oh, waylay be behind this. Yeah. Okay, and. Death Star Stone Trooper. Okay, we can compare it now. All right. The, so, the non-foil version is actually looking very good as well. I don't know which one I prefer. The shiny or the not shiny one. Both are fantastic. Great artwork, good composition, very dynamic. You know, even though he's not moving, it looks like a dynamic um, like composition because it's like a little bit tilted, you know? Very nice. Both are nice. Okay. Whoop. Foil every day. I guess you guys like foils. It really depends. People you have, you know, it's subjective. Some people prefer the non-foils. And with General Dodona, we didn't have that this one before. 
General Dodona. Also looks much better in real life than on camera. Like this white side of the frame is obscuring more somehow on the camera than in, in the real life. Or it's just my perception. But it's just like, it looks nice in real life. I will tell you this. Very nice. Okay. And we have one more play weekly play booster left. And then this one at the end. R Sorry, I bumped the microphone. All right, and the last booster gets us Battlefield Marine, looks lightsaber, and another Death Star Stormtrooper. All right, so I have a sp I have a playset. I have a playset then. Thank you very much, Fantasy Flight Games and Rebel PL, for sending me those. And at the end, let's see if I get a Darth Vader. Or Boba Fett the legendaries in this booster pack. I promise my chat that they're gonna get some gifted subs. So let's see. Let's see Leia Organa, a hyperspace chopper base. Comments. All right, let's go through the comments. Uncommon, uncommon, and. Whoop! Body Rook. I actually don't know if I have him yet. And Cantina Braggart. Unfortunately, no Vader or no Boba the Fett. But Boba the Fett. Anyway, those promos are looking fantastic. I definitely would say it's worth visiting your local LGS for your weekly boosters because those cars are not only looking nice, but I think. Since they are going to be swapping those additions, like, every time, some of the very playable ones might actually be worth quite a while, uh, quite, a, uh, quite a lot. Like, Sabine Wren, for sure, is in foil available as well. So this is a good, uh, this is a good card to get. Bosk, the Death Star Stormtrooper as well. Greedo, Resupply. Resupply in foil is probably one of the most sought for. Like, in every green deck, you play a Resupply in three copies. So yeah, those are, those are good hits. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Remember to visit your LGS.